Hi, welcome back to Autumn Read You, the five day reset. This is day two. We're going to talk about morning rituals. I'm your host, Anna Welly, Ayurveda practitioner and certified yoga health coach. So day two, morning rituals, is again about how we're going to make sure that we're aligning to these seasonal changes and incorporating the Rutucharya, the Ayurvedic practices that are meant to be emphasized in seasons change. So day two, we're going to focus on the practice of hydrate and flush the channels and also making sure that we're incorporating lemon into the hydrate and flush. Um, basically, what you're just going to do is drink room temperature to even warm or hot water with lemon juice. And so what this does is the Number one, the lemon juice is adding um, the most alkaline substance into our body to help really just kind of shift the pH and help us clear out or cleanse any excess acid buildup um, that happens over the summer. Summer is the time of pitta dosha, and pitta is this element of fire, and one of its um, contributions is that it can, in excess, it can build up acidity within the body. So we want to make sure that we're clearing and cleansing out the acidity. And then also Pitta in nature, this like high heat leads towards dryness. So we're going to make sure that we're hydrating our system and clearing out that acidity to support us to have a hydrated, um, a, a good neutral pH balance. The body wants to be a little bit above um, neutral and it's a more an alkaline zone. And this will support... Um, a strong, really good, healthy, robust, resilient immune system. It's also just gonna replenish and rejuvenate your entire being. Water and being hydrated is so essential to feeling good and thriving. Um, the second portion about this is that having warm to hot water and with um, lemon juice actually increases your um, ability for peristalsis to, to trigger a bowel movement. And so why is this important? Number one, having a good, healthy, operating digestive system is really, again, going to support your immune system, but also the health of your entire body. In Ayurveda, we know that the doshic energy, these elements, will accumulate first in the digestive tract. And once they accumulate, then when there's too much of it, they'll get pushed into the other tissues or areas in the body. And this is a part of the disease process. So we want to make sure that we're cleansing and clearing and maintaining a healthy digestive system to support this imbalance um, or prevent this imbalance. In particular, when we're clearing out the pitta and making sure that we're hydrated, we're preventing from too much excess vata dosha. And as we're going into the fall, we're going into the, the time and season of vata. And vata is from the elements of space and air. Space and air, too much vata, too much dryness, will really bring the energy up and out and will bring us into more of this kind of like scattered and getting carried away and like saying yes to too much when we're not in alignment and owning our truth and like staying strong and centered and grounded in ourself. Um, too much excess vata will also bring forth, um, when it gets high, it's this feeling of like difficulty to focus, difficulty to stay centered. So it's like ADD, attention deficit disorder, um, it, feelings of anxiety and worry and fear and um, inability to make decisions, that kind of thing. And then also because you're not rooted down in yourself and strong in yourself, um, it can lead towards insomnia, um, more of that anxious kind of energy is up and out. And so what's interesting to also know is that there are five basic movements of vata dosha. These are the subtle doshas of vata. Um, they're known as prana, udana, viana, samana, and then apanavayu, which is, you can't see, but it's from my waist or your waist down and out. And so this element of the panavayu, that is down and outward moving energy, um, is more available to us in the early morning time. And so when we have this warm water with lemon juice and we drink that and we, we're more able to have a really good, healthy, solid bowel movement. And then we're also in that experience 
more attuned to this, this energy of upon a value down and out. When we have that energy of down and out, we're supporting ourselves to be more rooted and grounded in ourself um, rather than the opposite of that, of not experiencing upon a value is your energy is going to bounce up and out. So too much energy bouncing up and out, this excess high vata that can become much more easily extreme in the fall and into the winter. That's where you get the um, anxiety, worry, um, thinking out too far into the future, ADD, insomnia, da 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 da. Um, so we want to instead prevent that, drink the warm water, have a good healthy bowel movement. And then the other portion of that is that while we're having that good healthy bowel movement, we're supporting a healthy colon. And while we're hydrated and really nourished, we're supporting again a good healthy colon. The colon is the seat of vata dosha. So a good healthy colon is preventing that excess of vata from being built up, which again would get it's built up too high, it's gonna get pushed out into the body, into the tissues. Um, so cleanse, flush, good quality bowel movement. If you have digestive issues, if you struggled with constipation or just like irregularity, um, I would definitely encourage you to reach out to book an Ayurvedic strategies um, consultation because I can help you with that. It's really key to having a healthy body, healthy mind, um, healthy experience of life. So. Cleanse and flush, you're hydrating, you're alkalizing your system, you're clearing out some of that excess pitta, that acidity that might have built up, um, supporting a good operating um, digestive system, and which is also incorporating and building up a strong immune system. Your healthy gut is an essential part of having a strong, healthy immunity. So it's going to create more of that resiliency um, as you step into the seasons of fall and winter. Strong, hearty rejuvenated. Um, if you've already, if you already have this habit under the bag, um, yay, I applaud you. A lot of you that have been following me for a while know that I speak to this one a lot. Um, if you've downloaded my, my free ebook, Essential Morning Rituals, you're probably already working on this one. It's also kind of one of the easiest habits to take in. Like it's not that hard to drink some water in the morning, especially before you have coffee or tea, which on that note, the coffee or the tea first thing is increasing the acidity. Um, it's increasing the pitta, moving us into a weakened immune system, um, an unhealthy pH balance in the body, and too much pitta, which will lead to, towards more dryness, and dryness equating to weakness within the body. So if you've already been doing the warm water with uh, lemon juice, you can then choose something else to add into your morning ritual. Um, it might be setting intentions for the day, connecting with your subtle body, doing prayer, meditation, visualization, um, cosmic worldview perspective, uh, journaling. Um, maybe it would be just sitting in a five-minute meditation or doing a, a morning yoga or exercise routine. So whatever you choose to do, uh, whether it be the cleanse and flush, cleanse, hydrate, and flush, or something else as a a new morning ritual routine practice, I invite you to share what that is in our online Facebook forum group. The link will be below this video. Um, really just kind of owning that and, and setting it more into your accountability and setting the wave forward for your success. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Again, we're just attuning to that seasonal rhythm, making sure that we're rooting down and staying grounded in ourselves. We're, state, we're supportive of this upon a value, the downward moving energy, to really be rooted, centered, strong, aligned, um, preventing those feelings of being scattered and taken away and indecisive and like saying yes to too much and um, ignoring what's most essential for our, our deeper desires, our deeper care. And then also cleansing out that high pitta, building up that, that replenishment, that hydrating, for a strong, robust immune system. Um, tomorrow, we're gonna talk about uh, meditation, and again, coming back into centering into yourself for this deeper rejuvenation, this deeper replenishment, and why that's important, especially in the fall. I hope it's helpful, and I hope to see you in the Facebook forum.